Hey you guys, welcome to your bi-weekly love reading. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Arising for the weeks of September 1st through the uh, 16th. So I have already shuffled and cut the cards. Let's go ahead and begin here. I want to thank you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing to my channel. And I ask that you all please continue to do so. Uh, remember these are general readings, so they may or may not resonate, but hopefully they do. Um, also, those of you that have been trying to um, contact me for like through phone, make sure you're waiting until I upload um, uh, the notification saying that I'm available to take calls uh, because I'm not always online. So I don't have a set schedule for that yet. And my time may be a little restricted too because I am starting a new job. So, um, but before you call me, make sure that I'm online. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and get started here. Uh, central issue or the heart of the matter, I have the Eight of Cups. I have the Nine of Cups. And I have the Druid or the Hermit. I'm not the Hermit, the Hierophant. Then we have the Nine of Wands. Hmm, the Nine of Shields. The Moon. The Chariot. And the Fool. Okay, Scorpio. Um, right off the bat, for some reason, and I know it's probably not for everyone, but I feel like someone has been in a physically abusive relationship. It could be emotional abuse or um, verbal abuse or whatever, but um, I'm also feeling like physical abuse and I feel like someone struck you and you're afraid to go back. Um, maybe that was the last straw. I don't know exactly what happened, but I'm, I'm kind of feeling like someone like struck you like across the face or in the eye and I don't know if you're afraid of this person I feel like there is something that you need to overcome like there is some sort of lack of confidence going on here um ooh Scorpio I can't lie I don't know what's going on but it just feels like it's it's an emotional a uh, couple of weeks, not, you know, the stretch of the whole two weeks, but there's something happens within that time frame that is uh, over emotional. I feel like one minute you're happy about something and then the next minute it shifts or changes here. I'm seeing two people and they're having like this open discussion and we're like, yeah, we're putting everything on the table. We're no longer hiding. Um, you know, no matter how painful the truth could be, I just kind of feel like, um, like if you're in a relationship and you're having this discussion, everything is being put on the table and you're feeling good. You're like, yeah, I'm glad we're talking about this. I'm glad, you know, it wasn't so bad. You guys are feeling like you're in a good space. And then they lay something out on you, maybe that you weren't expecting or something takes a turn here because now you're you're not happy anymore. You're walking away or you're deciding to move on from something. So whatever the case, I feel like you're going through something emotional or some sort of emotional transformation here. Uh, some sort of secrets, I feel like come out that makes you say, this is not what I want or I deserve better here. So you're turning your back or you're abandoning a situation that has bought out too much emotion from you. Um, you could be involved with the Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Pisces, Cancer, or an Aquarius. Um, any sign, but those are the ones that are sticking out here. Um, I, I, I ju I'm just looking at how I feel like you are looking at this person and you're like, I'm afraid to deal with this person or I'm afraid of 
you know what's going on and even if it's not like I said even if it's not physical abuse something that they did they betray your trust I feel I feel like someone betrayed your trust or they took advantage of you and you're you know you're hurt and now you you don't want to move forward with them they're saying let's get over it let's move on and you're like no I don't I don't I'm afraid I don't know I don't think I could trust you like you're emotionally all over the place here we have the moon um and i'm seeing like anxiety or some sort of depression here because there's a need i feel like um you're having to deal with your worst nightmare here something that you were really afraid of coming into fruition maybe it materialized or maybe your intuition told you about something Normally, I do feel like the moon is about illusions, but maybe it's, I feel it, I'm feeling like this is something that actually happened. Maybe the illusion part is you coming to the, coming to grips that the relationship has been an illusion or a facade or something. Or this person, maybe you've been looking at them through rose tinted glasses. Maybe you've been making the relationship seem other than what it was and now you're having to deal with it you're like okay this isn't this wasn't a good relationship um this wasn't you know such and such this person was wasn't there for me this person made me cry or they make me cry too much they make me sad too much i don't i feel like something's missing that's how i really feel so now you might really be coming clean about what the relationship was. And I'm sorry, Scorpio. I know sometimes it seems like I just have like such heavy news for you guys. Um, but I don't feel like that all the time. But I know some, sometimes you're comments and you're like, dang, you know, Scorpios can't get this or that. But, you know, I mean, this is just the information that I'm, I feel like is being interpreted here. Um, now I do feel like at some point you are going to face your fears. You're taking your power back here with the chariot and you're standing up for yourself. Uh, you're not going to allow yourself to be run over anymore. And you gain some sort of momentum or some sort of confidence and you're able to push through it and walk away from, uh, any situation that's not, you know, not good for you, whether it's a job or whether it's a, a bad friend or a bad uh, uh, relationship. So I feel like you are finally going to work up the nerve because this is what you're doing. You're afraid of something or you're, you don't know what it's like. If you leave this person, are they going to come after you? Um, are you going to be okay being by yourself? And then finally, you're like, I'm going to risk it. I'm going to put all my faith in God. I'm going to put it into the universe and I'm just leaving. Uh, so you might end up just walking out uh, of a commitment or walking out, from, you know, with nothing but the clothes on your back. But you're, you're walking away from something and you're starting some sort of new journey here. For some of you, you are finding out about uh, an affair. Um, maybe you thought things had stopped, but because of that conversation you guys had, maybe it turns out that it, it hasn't. Um, I am seeing, I'm seeing temptation here. You know, I mean, you might have been holding on to something that was broken out of fear of not knowing that there's something better out there. Uh, here, I feel like you are had you you had to step outside of yourself. It's almost like you had to have an outer body experience to really see something or someone for who they are or what it was. You're you're having to look this illusion in the eye and you're realizing that you know I've been betrayed you know I need to separate myself from this this karmic relationship or this toxic energy this person holds me back 
you know, this ex, I just want to break free from this ex or this dark person, you know, especially like I said, if it's physical abuse, you know, this person is always trying to scare you into staying and they might be saying things like nobody's going to want you, you know, whatever the case, you know, this person has been keeping you in a dark They've been keeping you in an emotional state of darkness, a spiritual state of darkness. And, you know, it's a need to separate from this person. Um, I feel like if you can walk away from whatever lower energy this was, it'll open up the path for something new with this person. Um, you might have to relocate to find love. And maybe you've already thought about that. Maybe your life has been crap wherever you've been living and you're like you know what I need to just detach from everything and everyone and start a whole new life somewhere else um so I feel like you know there's definitely something that is coming to an end here this is the grand finale here um and this is you maturing and growing up and letting go and being able to move on from the past here there's definitely letting go and starting over um leaving the past behind now this can also this can also be happening the other way around like someone this is someone who is walking out they consider you to be holding them back or something and they're finally moving on um but nevertheless there's a new journey that's starting i'm seeing someone saying like how could i have been such a fool well i learned from that mistake and i'm moving on here uh also some of you could be involved with the capricorn or a fire sign um aries leo sag I'm seeing someone being confronted for something that they did. Um, I feel, I just feel like someone got carried away with their lust. I'm feeling like someone fell in, basically fell into temptation and they couldn't let it go. Or, you know, that it's like they were uh, addicted to you know, sex or, you know, there's something going on where I feel like this person is like all, all the negative energy is being like this. They're draining you. There's too much heavy energy coming along with the, this person. And you just finally realize that and let them go and move on. Um, let me go ahead and clarify um, the devil here. See what this is all about. is lust and I have it clarified by the ace of wands so it is lust or some sort of temptation um, that that comes in between you and your partner um, somebody might be addicted to I don't know they might have a sex addiction um, you know or codependency or maybe that's all the only thing that has been binding you or holding you with this person it's like only the sex has been good but nothing else. And it's like, I want more than this. There's gotta be more to this. Maybe you're tired of that, tired of it now. And so you're trying to move past that or move beyond it. Now I'm also seeing this as a bat. Like I said, I, I feel like some of you have been physically abused and you need to break free from that situation. No, you know, you, that should be a karmic lesson you get after the first blow. Like, okay, this is definitely karmic that I'm not dealing with. And I know that's probably easily said than done, but I really just feel like you need to break free from uh, a physically abusive relation. Look at this. Look, just fear. Somebody using fear tactics, trying to, trying to keep you under control. 
there's a need for you to heal. I feel like once you overcome the situation, then you're, I mean, you're just going to be a better person. You can be better without them. You're a better person without them. There's someone else better out there for you. And uh, I know this isn't going to resonate for everyone, but you know, that energy is out there, Scorpio. If it's not happening to you, maybe it's happening to someone around you or close to you. Like you're you're so ca close or caught up uh, with a friend or a sibling and what they're going through that, you know, it's just kind of like reflecting in the cards. And it looks like this is something that you're going through when actually uh, it's the situation that you're involved with. I mean, um, from an outsider, you know, but that's the energies that are, are around you. <clears throat> All right, so <clears throat> you guys, I'm sorry, I'm getting over the flu. So you guys, this has been a general reading. I hope it resonated. Um, if you want a private reading, you can email tomajtarot at gmail.com. That information is in the description box below. Uh, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and leave your comments. Thank you guys all for watching. Many blessings to you.